Yeah. Hell Warriors, welcome to our first footwork video of the COVID-19 shutdown. I'm gonna go over a few different drills that you can do in home or if you have a yard, come on outside. It's a few simple props that you'll need, but mostly all you need is a pair of good shoes, your regular clothes, and some water. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about, the concept that we've been talking a lot about on my Sunday classes of moving our feet more and adjusting our stance. So the first one to get our foot moving, we're gonna do two passing steps forward. We're gonna switch our stance, two passing steps back, and switch again. So slow, it'll be a passing step, passing step, switch our stance, passing step, passing step, switch our stance. So almost like we're doing a little salsa dancing, going back and forth. Nice simple one, just to get your feet moving, so that when we're going into different drills, you got a good switch back. Now the second drill, we've done a few few times over the last few months. I'm gonna use this broken shield. So you can use anything around this size that has four sides to it. It's a little oblong, that's fine. If there's a dog on it, you know, just go around it. Um, so we're gonna start off uh, with one leg forward. So let's say, We'll start off with our dominant leg forward. The lines on each side is our Krieg line. So what we talk about with longsword and with other weapons, the Krieg line is where we need to be to effectively do a passing step, strike our target with the correct range. So we're gonna be playing with hitting that Krieg line and then retreating. So using shuffle steps to come up, hit the Krieg line, then come back. And come up, hit the Krieg line, come back. And now we're gonna do a triangle step to get to the other side. So going around the corners, triangle step, I'm here, creek line and back, creek line and back, creek line and back, creek line and back. Go all the way around until you're back where you started and then switch your lead feet, your lead foot. Do the same thing. You can do it once, you can do it twice, move, Move, move. So the idea with this drill is not only get your feet moving, um, but also using your triangle steps to create those angles instead of just going forward and backwards. Also with the Krieg line, instead of standing on the line and waiting for your opportunity, you're playing with that line, getting within range and getting out of range and moving back and forth. So that's another simple drill to do. Now back to the concept of changing the angles. So when we're moving forward and we're pressing on a target, we should never think that we're gonna press them in a line like a train pushing them off of our you know, fighting area. So we want to attack, then we want to change the angles, then we wanna retreat. If you do a technique or you do an attack and it doesn't work in that instance, there's no reason to press forward when you don't know what's gonna happen when those bodies get closer and closer. So with this simple drill, anywhere you are, whether you're living room, outside, we're gonna take one passing step forward, one passing step forward into the side, then I'm gonna get out. So again, I'm moving forward, I'm attacking my target. Now I'm gonna change the angles by stepping up to the side, attacking my target. Now I'm retreating. Now whether I scored a hit or not, doesn't matter. You tried it. If it landed, awesome, you just won that exchange. If it didn't land, well you get to try again because you're safe. You're doing this safe. Passing step, passing side step, and retreating. And you could also do it with shuffle steps. So instead of a passing step, you can do a shuffle step forward, step up to the side, shuffle step back. So mess with both of those, but it's really just press forward, move off to one of the sides, and then retreat. Now, if you're on the receiving end of that, a lot of times people get stuck in the, the buffalo, the train that's coming at them and they're blocking and they're moving and they're just going back until they either get hit or they're in a wall or they're out of the ring. So this is to teach us how to back up and move to the side, kind of like the previous drill except that we're going backwards instead of forwards. So with this, we're gonna take two passing steps back. So they're pressing me, I block. 
they're pressing me, I deflect. Now my back foot is where all my weight's on, so I'm gonna use this back foot to propel me off to the side. Hit the foot, pivot. Now I'm on their side as they walk into the kill zone. So again, passing step back, I'm blocking, passing step back, I'm parrying, back foot, I'm pushing off to the side, striking my target. You can also do it with uh, shuffle steps. So I'm shuffling, I'm shuffling, and I'm on that back foot, I'm gonna push off to the side, turn my body, and strike. Now the push off to the side, because we're using weapons, and a lot of times we're using long weapons, like long sword or Danax, you really need to move that body to get out of the way. If you're just doing a small little set off to the side, they're, they can still touch you, they can still grab onto you. So practice all of those. Uh, we have the switching of the stance, moving forward and backwards. We have the little box square on the bottom, moving around, playing with the war line and getting good foot move, movement. <clears throat> then we have pressing, stepping off to the side and retreating, doing all of our attacks while staying safe. And then when somebody's pressing us, how to move back and change direction. All right, go ahead and practice these. There's going to be more uh, videos to come. We're going to do all the different weapon systems. Um, part of the uh, a challenge we're gonna do, the COVID-19 challenge. I would like you once a week to take a video of all these drills that I'm giving you, send it to me, I'll give you critique and feedback and we'll talk about how we can improve everything. All right, we'll see you later.